Hello everyone, now in this video, I am very excited to introduce you with a very new product from Espressif. So yeah, this is the box which is directly sent to me by Espressif and I know you have guessed it already. What is this? As you must have watched the thumbnail before starting this video. So yes, this is the ESPI, the latest product from Espressif and probably this is the first in India. So in this video, I will let you know what are the box content of this kit, what are the features of this hardware and how to interface this hardware. So watch this video till the end and I will let you know everything regarding this ESPI. So let's get started. So yeah, this is the box which I received from Espressif and let us open this box. And yeah, here it is, the ESPI development kit. So here is the ESPI development kit which says for AIoT developers. So I heard a new term by watching at this ESPI, the AIoT developers. So AIoT is a combination of artificial intelligence plus internet of things so that becomes AIoT so this device is both for AI and for IoT so this is the most advanced board of this uh, expressive company till now and what are the features uh, here is two features mentioned on this box which are the voice wake up just like Alexa and Google assistant this device also has a voice wake up uh, uh, feature then on the other side we have this face recognition which is pretty obvious after looking at the camera on this device and on the top it is written as ESP32 inside just like Intel inside so this hardware works with the ESP32 chip okay so yeah let us open this box and have a look about the box contents wow so here is the main product the ESPI and wow this is so small I think it is about uh, one and a half inch of size okay let's just put it aside and see what other things we get inside the box so we get a USB cable, a USB to micro USB cable, cable as this device works with the micro USB port. Okay, then, okay, so here it is. This is all about the box. In the end, we get this quick start guide, which tells everything about the hardware. So let's just focus on the hardware. So we get a uh, camera, which is a two megapixel camera, which I have read on the internet regarding this particular hardware. So it's a two megapixel camera. Then we have a reset button, a boot button. Then we have two LEDs. And on the bottom we have a microphone for voice wake up feature then we have a tactile button on this side this is used for recording the face that is also i read on the internet then on the back side we have this 3d antenna for this esp32 chip which is built in on this hardware then we have a ram and a us micro usb port so this is all about the box content of this device so this is all you get inside the box now let's just focus on the particular uh, main hardware that is the ESPI. So let's go to its official website and learn more about this particular hardware and also uh, let us see if they have provided any getting started video or anything like that. So let's move on to the website. So here is the official website for this product called ESPI. Let's just scroll this website. And here they have mentioned in detail regarding the hardware, IoT software and AI software. Now let me discuss here. This particular ESPI is not yet ready to interface with Arduino IDE. Yes, as it is as a new product, it is launched a month before. So it is not yet ready to get interfaced with Arduino IDE, but uh, it is ready to be programmed with this software called ESP IDF, which is a software by Espressif only. So we can program this particular ESPI using the ESP IDF and for the AI related framework, they have developed a new software called a new framework called ESP Who. So for AI related, we need to use ESP Who, and for IoT related and programming related, we need to use ESP IDF. So right now it is uh, uh, limited to these three portions only. We cannot use this uh, with any other software uh, in the market. So this is a pretty bad news for Arduino lovers out there. But I think soon the developers will, you know, make an interface to use this particular hardware with the Arduino ID. So we should wait till that. Okay. So moving ahead, uh, let's click on this hardware right now and let's see if anything if uh, and let's see if we have missed anything to discuss in the hardware. So here is the ESPI. So let's just click on this getting started. So yeah, so here is the label proper labeled hardware diagram of this ESPI and the things which we have missed is uh, uh, this IPEX connector. As you can see, here is the three dots earlier version in the beta version. They, uh, they were providing this uh, 
antenna connector or we can say an IPEX antenna connector to attach external connector in case we need to increase the range of this ESP32 chip okay so rest of all the things we have discussed earlier so no need to discuss here again still if you need to know in detail regarding each and every component I will attach its link in the description of this video okay so rest uh, they have provided a software development article on to get started with this ESP IDF and ESP who so right now we won't be going to detail about this all things because I too need to study about this ESP who and ESP IDF I am not at all familiar with this uh, softwares okay so right now what we'll do is we'll just test out the pre-programmed ESPI yes the ESPI comes with a already programmed uh, code in it so we'll test this program and see what ESPI can do right now for us so we'll connect it with the USB cable which is provided with this ESPI so as you can see the red LED turned on to this device and here the block diagram says first of all we need to uh, wake up this board by using the wake up command which is this okay before that I will open the Arduino ID not to program this board but just to have a look what are what kind of response we are getting inside the serial monitor so we'll just select the right board which is already selected I will just turn on the serial monitor and uh, let me press this reset button so as you can see it is waiting for this command wake up command so I will just utter this wake up command and let's see what happens hi Lexin okay so as you can see the LED started blinking which is written here uh, as soon as it uh, receives the wake up command it, the red LED will be flashing and it is now waiting for a network to get connected so I will connect my laptop uh, to this uh, ESPI as you can see it has already created a network so I will just connect to it okay so my laptop is now connected to that ESPI now I need to uh, now it is started recognizing the face okay now if I need to have a look over the footage which is recorded by this particular board uh, for that I need to visit to this particular IP address after connecting to ESPI so I'll just copy this and paste it here enter wow so as you can see this device started streaming the live footage okay and uh, I have already recorded my face and uh, it is stored as hello ID 0 wow so as you can see this is the studio of techie SMS there is a main camera this is the studio lights and uh, this is the secondary camera which is recording the top angle shots and here is a laptop and here uh, here is me okay so for recording the faces they have provided a sampler a tactile button so we need to press this button and it will start recognizing the face it will start storing that face and will give it give that face a id so right now uh, only one person is stored in this uh, camera which is me and hence it is given as id 0 on the serial monitor we can also see that the id 0 is recognized that means in the footage we have a person called id 0 so with this we can make interesting projects just like if I attach this camera at the main door entrance of my room and uh, as soon as I you know coming towards my room it will recognize my face and it will turn on the appliances which I usually turn on as entering my room just like it will turn on the lights it will turn on radio after detecting my face so that kind of projects it can do right now for us as it has ESP32 chip built in okay so this is all about the pre-programmed code about uh, in this ESPI so this is all it can do right now for us uh, still I have some projects in mind using this particular pre-programmed ESPI but I won't be revealing that project right now I will leave it up to you do let me know what kind of projects we can make right now with this pre-programmed ESPI do let me know your project suggestion in the comments below uh, this ESPI is able to stream video wirelessly so think about the projects which can be made using this particular ESPI so yeah this is it about this uh, getting started or introduction video regarding this ESPI I hope you like this introduction video regarding this latest expressive product called ESPI do let me know what different kind of projects products or sensors uh, introduction video should I make uh, do let me know your suggestion in the comments below and yeah subscribe my channel if you haven't if you want to watch more such introduction or getting started kind of videos and also the explained videos on different topics different technologies and yeah regarding the project tutorial videos on IoT and electronics so wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me Techie SMS.